Okay, part two, what if it's not working? Well, maybe you've identified that um, there are a few key areas that you need to uh, make some corrections in or rectify some, some challenges. Maybe it's the system, maybe it's some processes, maybe something's not working. Now you've identified what to do. Well, the next part is not sitting on your hands. The next part is actually taking, taking specific and immediate action in terms of rectifying that because it won't fix itself. So there's, uh, like I said, the hardest part is generally working out what's wrong and then the next part is then fixing it. Now, if you've identified what the challenge is but you don't know how to fix it, that's where once again we have to, uh, to look for mentors and coaches to help implement or even software sometimes that will help us fix those particular challenges because once again, if it doesn't get fixed, then, uh, then the business won't run properly. So all we need to do is identify which system is, uh, is for, we're falling down on. It's almost like a body. Now the body's made up of 11 different systems, but if one system's not working properly, eventually it's gonna impact all the others or it just doesn't allow the body to, uh, to work efficiently. So it would make sense to identify the different businesses in the system, uh, sorry, different systems within the business and then start to, uh, to rectify the challenges or to start bettering those particular systems if you want a better business. Now, if you want to scale your business, obviously it makes sense to uh, to look at each individual system and work out what you'll need to do to scale that and make uh, make the business grow. So, hope that helps for uh, for, for part two.